Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad. I'm Chris Sherrick. And today we're going to be plugging for salmon. Today we're going to be using the uh, 20 foot War Eagle. Got a couple of uh, rod holders set up on the inside for plugging the back streams, and then we're casting for plugs all day. All right, guys, here's what we're using today. We got some Shimano TDRs tied up to some Penn uh, Warfares. We're going to be using some flatfish today. The river's low, so we have a lot of slow current. So the flatfish will give you a lot of action in the slower water. So this is what we'll be running out back while we're casting our thunder sticks. While we're waiting for the plugs out back to work for us, we're going to be casting the shorelines using the thunder stick juniors. These are the fire tiger redheads. The juniors are not as quite as deep as the uh, larger, you know, three hook jobs, but these work good for casting. Nine foot spinning reel, tied up with any reel you need. Usually running braid or mono, heavy gauge. So my rod and reel combo is a little bit different. I'm using the pole I picked up in Alaska. It's the Ugly Stick Big Water. And for the line, I'm running 17 pound monofilament Stren Clear. I also got the same Thunder Stick, the Nice Fire Tiger with the Redhead Junior. These are good for early fall. This is called the Clown Redhead again. The other one's a personal favorite. The Blue and Chrome to the Red Bills. Always a good lure as well. And then obviously if you get some deeper holes, you'll notice these are a little larger, bigger bill. So you get some slower current, deeper holes, you can run these in glows. These are good for night fishing as well. Make sure if you're bringing your boats out here and you're going to the Manistee, um, a lot of guys run chains and chains are okay for slow water in some of the areas that are rocky, but they do not hold in the sandy areas, which a lot of this water has a lot of sand in it. So what you're gonna want is you're gonna run a heavy pyramid anchor, um, usually around 50 to 65 pounds to hold your vertical, which is what you want to do if you're uh, back bouncing holes. We're gonna launch the boat in the water here at the uh, Bear Creek launch and go bang some big kings. I love plug-in, it's so much work. <laughs> well, we got one knock up there, that was promising. You guys doing any good? Nothing? minutes 15 minutes it's 9 22 now you start getting too late in day and um, yeah well i guess so I think it's in the, it, all it is in just the branch. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Right to us. It's right by the boat, close. Oh, you tiger bread. Yeah, I'm not. It did a lot of rolls back there. Not really. I just felt the rolling of it. I'm like, oh, that's a fish.
It's coming right by the It might take off again, I'm not sure. Three pounder. All right, guys, I just got my first keen salmon on a thunder stick in the Manistee River. As you guys can tell, it's a nice fat hen. You just put up tape to it. Right here, it looks like it's 36, but with a pinched tail, it's 38 and a quarter. It's now time to get the weight. Right here, it's in pounds. Let's see here. 21.40, looks like I'm gonna have a lot of salmon eggs. Right here was the amazing lure that caught that giant fish. As you guys can tell, it really demolished the lure. I got two unbent prawns in the back. I got one that completely broke off. And in the front, I even have one that was unbent as well. This fish took about five to six minutes to get in. Kept going to the back of the boat, then back out. So you just really gotta tire these fish in before you net them. All right, guys, a great tip I have for you guys is when you're fishing this river, make sure you get a crappy aluminum prop because this is just from one trip. As you guys can tell, it makes a lot of necks and deans in your propeller. For that exact reason, I highly recommend getting a jet boat because that river is very shallow and there's random stumps and rocks everywhere throughout the river. I'd like to say a big thanks to Christopher Sherrick for allowing me and my friend Amir to tag along with him while he went out fishing on the Manistee River. I had a blast plugging for salmon and learning new techniques on how to target them. But anyways, this was my second video I made during this salmon season in Michigan. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, but stay tuned throughout the whole month. I'll be bringing lots of salmon action to you guys. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate you giving a like, comment, and subscribe. Also comment below what you guys would like to see next. Have a great day, guys.